Absolutely. Well, now, an Irish-based charity called Kamara has just sent its 10,000th refurbished computer to Kenyan schools. And they're now appealing for anyone who has updated their PC over the Christmas period to bear them in mind when they're getting rid of the old computer. For more details on this, I'm joined now by Maureen O'Donnell, who is head of the European and Caribbean operations for Kamara. But first, let's take a look at the operation. We've got this report from our correspondent, Joe Little. It's dispatch for Kamara's latest Kenyan cargo. Staff, interns and volunteers, some of them employees of the digital marketing firm Clixo, are hard at work. They'll be dispatched uh, and sold at a very affordable price to uh, a number of schools, in, in this case about 40 schools in Kenya. So 40 lucky schools in Kenya will be receiving computers and the kids in those schools will gain the 21st century skill of digital literacy, so how to use a computer but also how to search for information and how to use that in education and after education. For just over 160 euro per PC, schools like Mebeni will also get a teacher's education kit and software to support maths and language learning. Without computer, there is no life for this this time. No opportunities for jobs, for employment. You, you won't get any good jobs. These machines were donated by 120 companies like Aer Lingus, Ryanair, and government departments. Many have to be repaired. They found the drivers. Oh, they found them? Yeah, automatically. <laughs> so they work now. The data on their memories is thoroughly wiped. And then we will load an operating system on called Linux, which is unlike Microsoft where you have to pay for a license. You do not have to pay for a license to use their operating system. Kamara, each of these computers can provide digital education for up to 21 people. Already in Ireland, 150 schools and youth clubs in disadvantaged areas have availed of the package. There's a six-week delay in filling orders worldwide, and if you want to donate from Europe or the United States, just click on Camara.org. Joe Little, RT News, Chapel Is it? Well, Maureen O'Donnell's with me now in studio. Okay, so those computers, they are on the high seas, the ones we see there in Joe's report at the moment. They are, yes. When are they? They're due to arrive the next... A um, few they days? They should be there by the end of January, um, beginning of February, yep. Okay, and can you just tell me, like, what um, difference does it make, those PCs arriving, and wh where are they going? Well, um, the, the computers that are on the sea right now, those are going to Kenya, and they'll arrive at our Kenyan educational hub, and from there they'll go into schools across Kenya, um, which is one of the African countries that, that we Kamara serve. And how countries are you, is Kamara operating in? Uh, we are in seven different African countries. We're in two countries in the Caribbean and um, as was mentioned in the segment we also have an Irish schools program. Really? So you're working with Irish schools as well? We are, yeah. As that. And I mean how long has Kamara been going? Uh, Kamara was founded in 2005 so it's been almost 10 years and in that time we have shipped over 45,000 computers uh, we've trained more than 12,000 teachers, and we believe that we've impacted more than 600,000 children. 600,000, my goodness. And they, I mean, is that 45,000 computers? Are they just from Ireland, or are you collecting worldwide? Um, we are just this year opening up a new refurbishment hub in London, so we'll begin collecting in the UK. Um, we also have a, a small refurbishment hub in the United States, but the vast majority of the computers that have come in have come in through Dublin or through Belfast. I mean, it seems such a simple idea. Is anyone else doing this, or is it just Kamara is kind of spearheading this, this initiative. Well, we, we like to think that our model is unique, um, and, and the reason that it's unique is because we work with the teachers um, to provide them training so that they can integrate computers in with the classroom. Um, we, we don't just drop computers in and just assume that learning will happen. Yeah. So you train the teachers to use the computers to the, the best advantage, I suppose, for the, of the students. We do. And what about things? I mean, in certain countries, you know, electricity supply isn't going to be there. What about IT maintenance for the computers once they're in situ? How do you deal with all these issues? We do. We, we look at the whole life cycle of the computer. So um, all the way from the time that it comes into our facility to the end of its life, we make sure that it's taken care of. Um, when the computers are delivered into the schools, we provide support for them. And then at end of life, we reclaim those computers and we make sure that they've got a responsible end of life. Right, and so you do upgrade them as they go through. You don't, you don't just kind of, as you say, dump them on a school and go, listen. We do not. <laughs> there's 12 extra computers for you to, to worry about. Right. And when you talk about the 600,000 students that you believe you've impacted on, yeah. in what way, what, what kind of outcomes have you changed there? 
Um, so what we do is we provide digital literacy, and each computer that's donated can impact up to 21 children. So, so these are computers that are being used in the classrooms. These are kids that are having an opportunity to, to go in and to play on the computers and learn how to do spelling and learn how to do maths and, and all of those things on a computer. Normally, they wouldn't have the opportunity to do that. So, um, for example, I was in Jamaica um, here in December visiting one of our schools there in Jamaica. And um, there were two kids that were maybe about five years old or so. And they were both sitting there sharing the computer and kind of um, elbowing each other out of the way, trying to trying to use it. So they, they really enjoy the learning. Um, it's in kind of a game form, so they have a chance to play a little bit. Um, and at the same time, they're learning these critical skills. Just five. I mean, that's amazing to think, yeah. you know, that five-year-olds are having, you wouldn't get that in all Irish schools even. And the software, developing the software as well, or do you buy a software that's already out there? Um, we actually use an open source software platform. Um, as Linux, we heard about that in the report. Yeah, yeah, Linux is the operating system and then on top of that we have a software called Ubuntu and that's open source as well. And that's the um, actual program that, that has all of the applications for education. Right, okay, and that's okay be it Kenya or be it Jamaica, it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. applicable wherever you Can Absolutely. you talk to me, um, you're in Jamaica, what, where's the other country you're in in the Caribbean? Uh, Haiti as well. Haiti, yes. really. So children who are still living in these IDP camps are getting computers at schools. They are. That yes. is amazing, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yep. And do you think that um, that education, you know, are you getting support from governments or from IT companies, or who's supporting you in your in your work in um, around the world? Um, well, we're very fortunate to have a lot of support. We have support from the government here in Ireland through Irish Aid. Um, we also have a lot of corporate partnerships that we work with as well. We work with um, Dell. Um, we also are supported, particularly in the Caribbean, by the um, Dennis or by the um, Digicel Foundation, and mm. here in Ireland by the Dennis O'Brien Foundation as well. Right. So you have a number of corporate um, sponsors as well. We okay. Do. If anybody has a computer, they've just got a new one for Christmas. What do they do with it? Um, well, they can donate it to us, which would be wonderful. Um, if they can just go to our website at Kamara.org, or they can give us a call and um, drop it off at our Chapel Island facility. Um, or give us a call and, and if there's enough computers we can arrange a collection. Okay, so Chapel is it is where you're based here in Dublin Correct. or you can go out and collect it yep. if there's enough. Yep. All right, well listen, good luck with that and thanks a million Maureen for coming Th in to us this morning. Thank you. Thanks.